So now we've talked about conjugated systems, I want to spend just the briefest of time talking about UV visual spectroscopy. So ultraviolet visual spectroscopy, uh, and the big crux of it is right here. Big single takeaway is that the more conjugated the system, the longer it's lambda max. So there's going to be a max absorption of this molecule somewhere, and it turns out that max absorption corresponds from uh, an excitation of an electron from the HOMO to the LUMO, and usually we call this a pi to pi star transition. So for most conjugated systems, that's where it's going to be. Now, obviously, ethylene's not a conjugated system, so when you get a conjugated system, the more conjugated it is, the more molecular orbitals you have. But the one thing we haven't talked about is the more conjugated system, the spacing between the orbitals here gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And so exciting an electron from the HOMO here to the LUMO, that's going to be a lower energy excitation and a lower energy photon required to cause it, and a lower energy photon has a longer wavelength. And that's the big gist here. So again, the more conjugated the system, the longer the lambda max that's going to be absorbed. And so that's why here for 135 hexatrying, it's got a lambda max of 258 nanometers, where for 13 butadiene it's only 217. So, and for ethylene with no conjugation, it's 162 nanometers. Now, all these are in the ultraviolet region. So, but if we got some really conjugated molecule like beta carotene, we'd find out his lambda max would be in the visible region of the spectrum. And that's why beta carotene, uh, the orange color in carrots, uh, that's why it actually absorbs colored light, light we can actually see, because it's absorbing in the visible spectrum w significantly higher than 258 nanometers even. So again, the more conjugated the system, the longer it's lambda max.